A sharp knife is one of the most essential tools in any kitchen, workshop, or outdoor setting. However, even the finest blade will dull over time due to regular use. Knife sharpening is the process of restoring the edge of a blade, ensuring it can cut efficiently and safely. But how does it work? What techniques and tools are used? And what's the science behind achieving that razor-sharp edge? In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the mechanics of knife sharpening, exploring the different methods, the importance of blade angles, and the best ways to maintain your knives for long-term use, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, sharpening a knife is about refining the edge by removing small amounts of material to create a thinner, more precise cutting surface. When a knife is used repeatedly, the edge starts to round out due to microscopic deformations. This dulls the knife, making it harder to cut through materials cleanly. The sharpening process reshapes and refines the edge, making it sharp again. This can be achieved through several different methods, including whetstones, honing rods, sharpening systems, and electric sharpeners. Each method varies in precision, difficulty, and effectiveness, depending on the type of knife and the user's skill level. One of the most traditional and effective ways to sharpen a knife is by using a whetstone also known as a sharpening stone. These stones come in different grit levels, which determine how much metal they remove from the blade. A coarse grit, usually between 200 and 600, is used for repairing very dull or damaged edges. A medium grit, around 1,000 to 3,000, refines the edge further, while a fine grit, such as 4,000 to 8,000, polishes the blade to an almost mirror-like finish. The process involves running the knife blade across the stone at a consistent angle while applying moderate pressure. Typically, the angle is between 15 to 20 degrees for kitchen knives and slightly steeper for outdoor or utility knives. Maintaining a consistent angle is crucial as it ensures even sharpening across the entire edge. Another common sharpening method is using a honing rod, sometimes called a sharpening steel. However, it's important to understand that a honing rod doesn't actually sharpen a knife, it realigns the blade's edge. Over time, a knife's edge bends slightly out of alignment due to repeated cutting and chopping. A honing rod corrects this misalignment, helping maintain the knife's sharpness between proper sharpening sessions. Honing is best done before or after each use to keep the blade performing optimally. While honing rods are made of steel, ceramic, or diamond-coated materials, they don't remove a significant amount of metal, meaning they can't restore a truly dull edge. For those who prefer a more guided approach to sharpening, knife sharpening systems offer a precise way to achieve a sharp edge. These systems use fixed angle guides to hold the blade at a specific angle, while various sharpening stones or diamond plates grind away the metal. Systems like the Lansky or KME sharpener allow users to maintain consistency without needing to freehand the blade on a stone. These setups are especially useful for beginners or those sharpening expensive knives that require precision. The only downside is that these systems can be time-consuming compared to freehand sharpening, but they offer excellent control over the final result. Electric knife sharpeners provide a fast and convenient way to restore a blade's sharpness with minimal effort. These devices use rotating abrasive wheels or belts to grind away metal and create a new edge. Most electric sharpeners have multiple stages with a coarse setting for reshaping the edge, 
a medium setting for refinement, and a fine stage for polishing. While these machines are efficient, they tend to remove more material than necessary, which can shorten the lifespan of a knife if used too frequently. Additionally, they may not be suitable for specialty knives with unique blade geometries, as the preset angles in electric sharpeners don't always match every knife type. A critical factor in sharpening is understanding the burr. A burr is a tiny metal edge that forms on the opposite side of the blade during sharpening. When you grind one side of the knife against a stone or sharpener, a thin strip of metal is pushed over to the other side. This burr indicates that the edge has been sharpened and it must be removed to create a clean, refined cutting surface. The best way to do this is by alternating sharpening strokes on each side of the knife until the burr disappears, followed by polishing the edge with a finer grit. Once a knife has been sharpened, it's important to maintain its edge to prolong its sharpness. This involves proper storage, such as using a knife block, magnetic strip, or blade guard to prevent unnecessary dulling. Cutting on soft surfaces like wood or plastic cutting boards, rather than hard materials like glass or stone, also preserves the edge. Additionally, regularly honing the knife and avoiding contact with bones, frozen foods, or other hard materials can prevent premature dulling. Knife sharpening is both an art and a science. While the basics of removing metal to create a sharp edge are straightforward, achieving a perfect edge requires skill, patience, and the right tools. Whether using a whetstone for precise manual sharpening, a guided system for consistency, or an electric sharpener for convenience, each method has its own advantages. The key is to understand the needs of your knives and apply the appropriate sharpening technique to keep them in top condition. A sharp knife isn't just about efficiency, it's also about safety, as dull knives require more force and increase the risk of slipping. By maintaining sharp knives, you enhance both the quality of your work and your overall experience in the kitchen or workshop. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.